Hey, Billy Mays here for the Magic Island Maker. Seriously, folks, uh, this sounds like something, the, the stuff of an infomercial. But anyway, China has floated out a giant island building vessel, which has been called a Magic Island Maker by its designer, and is considered the most powerful vessel of its type in Asia. Now, the launch comes amid ongoing territorial disputes in the South China Sea. The Tiankun Cutter Section Dredger was launched at Kidong in eastern Jiangsu province on Friday. Now, the vessel with a deck as long as five basketball courts, 140 meters, can smash underwater rocks and then suck out sand, water, and mud and transfer the substance up to 15 kilometers away. It can dredge up to 6,000 cubic meters, which is around two and a half Olympic-sized swimming pools, an hour from a depth of up to 35 meters. Wow. Now, the electronic vessel is able to drudge an area the size of a soccer field with a depth of one meter within one hour. Wang Jiang, uh, not Wang Chung, folks. Wang Jiang, deputy chief engineer of CCCC Tianjin Dredging, cited uh, in uh, Xinhao News Agency. Now, some local media said the vessel was a military defense project, and that's what I think it is too, ladies and gentlemen, which could be used for the construction of artificial islands in the disputed South China Sea, where Beijing has territorial disputes with Japan, Vietnam, the Philippines, and other nations. Yes, folks, uh, I'm not a, a betting man, but if I was a betting man, I would bet that this uh, this beast of a dredger here is is built for just that, creating the man-made islands in the South China Sea, which, of course, then become militarized. But uh, anyway, folks, this is an interesting uh, piece of literature. I'll leave you a link to this so you can read all about it. And when it comes to links, I'd ask you, please, to check out the link to my latest fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. The Kindle's only $1.99. If you're signed up for the Kindle Unlimited program through Amazon, you can read it for free, and the paperback is $7.99. Now, folks, um, this is fiction that the deep state would not want you reading for sure, and I'd have to uh, ask you folks, what would you do if this story came true? This is a story about right now, America and the world. If you're a watcher, of world events, if you are attempting to track the machinations of the deep state. This is edgy, gritty, timely, end times Christian fiction. Don't be don't be uh, put off by it being Christian fiction, folks. This is not fluffy at all. Um, a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain, and that is the least of it here, folks. There's so much more. Anyway, check it out. It is linked below. You can read Chapter 1 for free. That's also linked below. It's called Fake News, and you will meet uh, indie journalist Dave Jameson in that story and uh, see the uh, the uh, events he may uncover uh, and of course, who he may run into along the way. But anyway, folks, I'll leave you a link to that. And there's, there's also a link to some music of mine down there as well. Uh, folks, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led. But most importantly of all, uh, within this maelstrom that we are living, uh, this perilous maelstrom, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.